Hi, so you see in the background here I have my Samsung CU7000 TV and on my phone I have the SmartThings app that actually can control the TV. So you can see I can navigate, you know, I, I could push home and do everything I need to do that's on the remote and, and then some. So, so you could see the bottom here, you know, I could scroll through more options. So this is an enhanced remote. So I'll show you how to do that uh, in this video to connect the phone to the TV, but also to connect your Google Home to the, uh, or your TV to the Google Home. So I got the Samsung CU7000 in the back and on my phone here, I have Google Apps and right there is SmartThings by Samsung Electronics. So you wanna download this app. Once you download this app, and let me go back when you pull it up so smart things I'm gonna pull it up at the top here there is a plus button I'm gonna choose that add device and you want your TV and your phone to be on the same Wi-Fi network so right now I have both on my home Wi-Fi network and it's on the same network and right here it says Samsung devices or partner devices it's a Samsung TV and I'm gonna add Samsung and I am gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, TV, choose TV. And then it starts to detect. So it's able to detect my Samsung CU TV. And I'm gonna hit refresh again. It finds my TV, I'm gonna choose it. Samsung CU 7058 inch TV connecting to the screen and right there you can see there's a pin code so I'm going to enter in that pin code in my phone 6053-4357 done and it is connected now and it wants me to log in to my Samsung account. And <laughs> I actually um, do have the account number. So once I log in, it's going to ask me a bunch of questions, do uh, terms of agreement. And <laughs> I'm going to check everything just to get everything over with. Um, and say agree. And it says your screen is being registered to your Samsung account. And you can see up there, it pops up, successfully registered. And now I could put in the location, my home, living room, and so I'm just gonna use the defaults. So I'm gonna say done. And it's downloading an add-on right now. It's 22%. Hey Google, turn off the heat. All right, turning the Sensi off. Okay, so the add-on's done. And you can see right there and then it pops up the remote control. So, if you could see in the back here, if I use the remote control, does it work? So I just turned off my TV, turned it back on, and let me navigate to YouTube. So, so you could see, I'm just navigating through my phone. Pulling up YouTube running YouTube and then I'm going push the home button so you could see with the remote control let me zoom in here that's the remote control there's also other apps at the top that I could scroll now I'm going to try to do a voice command and I'm going to say hey Google turn off my TV Samsung 6 Series 40 isn't available right now. So I actually have two TVs 
and it turned off the right one. <laughs> hey Google, turn on my Samsung CU7000. So, it actually did turn on the TV, and you could see my Samsung or the um, Google. Hey Google, turn off my TV. Sorry, it looks like the TV Samsung 6 Series 40 isn't available right now. Hey Google, turn on my Samsung CU7000 TV. And it actually did turn on. So that's how the voice commands work. Turn on my Samsung CU7000 TV. Awesome, so at least that works. And also the phone remote works. And I'm gonna actually try to fine tune and work out the uh, you know, other commands. So if I go home, you can see that comes in pretty handy. And then if I just navigate here, you know, I could even search. So so actually it's gonna be a lot easier for me to do the searching on this phone than it is on the uh, TV remote. That's neat. Or I could just scroll here and I could just pull up YouTube like so. So that's what's handy about this. And uh, just going back home. So, so this is actually Wi-Fi controlled. It's not like it's infrared or it's like a remote control that you point to the TV. You simply just, um, you know, tap on these because it's a Wi-Fi controlled. So this here is the full remote. And you can see it's nice and wide with, with with the buttons basically exactly the same as the remote itself. So the way this comes up is I choose the remote and then I push this all the way up and the full remote is shown, which is the same as this remote here with all of the buttons. And there's also a mute and there's also a Samsung uh, TV plus button. So once I push the Samsung TV Plus button, there it is, and then I could go up. So let me go here. And then I could, you know, change the channel. I could change the volume. And then I could also swipe. So that's the handy part about the Samsung CU um, model CU 7000 model so let me go back and so you're gonna have to download the smart things app and also the Google home app so I'm gonna go into the Google home app and um, I'll show you how to attach the if I go to settings and then service here works with Google choose that and you want to register so I have smart things registered with my uh, Google home what you want to do is you want to tap that and you want to um, add the linked or actually you want to say add new and then you want to tap the the type of thing so I'm going to cancel here you you want to search for the smart things here and then add that to your list of things that Google Home controls so that's how you actually uh, first download the smart things app and then um, set that up and I'll have that in this video and then attach the smart things app to your works with Google in the settings works with Google and search for smart things in this list register your smart things app into Google home and then you could do the voice commands uh, via your Google home so for example <laughs> so for example you can you can do um, uh, hey Google turn off the TV So once again, I have two TVs. So it found this one, but not that one. Hey Google, turn on Samsung CU7000 TV. And it'll turn on.
Hey Google, turn on the Samsung CU7000 TV. <laughs> turn it on the second time around. So, hey Google, mute the Samsung CU7000 TV. And it actually did mute the TV. So that voice command actually did work. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, you know go through the steps on how to set this up. Um, but that's really it. That's what I really wanted to show. And I hope this helps. And uh, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. So what is this? So I'm tapping here. Oh, oh, that that's to that's to test the the tapping. So that's interesting. So this is 